everybody welcome back uh, today we're gonna talk strange and unique uh, serial numbers on weapons um, of course locks aren't really that strange or unique um, on the most part unless you're talking about um, for instance like the RTF2 uh, style Glock uh, the rich te rich textured frame or raised textured frame um, which are kind of strange and unique, um, but even more so unique is when you run across one with a very odd serial number. Um, and just a real quick, you know, if you guys aren't subscribed to my channel, uh, you know, think about it. Um, you guys will get notifications when you hit the bell to uh, any time I put out, <clears throat> excuse me, new videos like this, deals, sales, etc. Um, really helps out the channel, helps to get, you know, more. Uh, get me more reach out there on the YouTube system uh, thanks to their wonderful algorithm that people like myself have to deal with every day. Um, however, um, today we're going to talk about an RTF2 Glock that I got from a buddy um, and this one is very odd. Um, in particular, you'll notice on the case it's got a pretty cool serial number. So this is a Glock 17. From my understanding, they manufactured these in 2009, 2009 and 10. Um, I understand the production run for the Glock 17s in 2009 and 10 was only for 14 months. Uh, so there's not very many of these out there. Of course, these are that Fishkill pattern. Um, and then I think they made them again in 2017. You guys can correct me down in the comments below. Um, however, this one is in absolute mint condition. Um, I've actually never shot this one. And when you look at the serial number, you'll see why. You'll see the first three letters of this serial number is P-E-W, as in Pew. Really, really cool Glock. And yes, the slide, the barrel, as well as the frame. Those numbers do all match. I'll insert pictures up here in the top left. but. Uh, one of my buddies was selling this Glock. Uh, he was trying to gather some funds for his wedding, and uh, I said, "Hey, I'll take it off your hands, uh, just because, you know, that's that's pretty cool." By the way, this firearm is indeed unloaded. I've always kept it unloaded, and yes, YouTube, these mags are in compliance with the Google slash YouTube policy of less than 20 rounds. I had to do the disclaimer. I hate doing it, but I have to do it because. Oftentimes my videos will get limited simply because of something that they think they see. But anyway, if you check this out, there's a very, very tiny amount of hood wear right here. I dare say this gun probably hasn't been racked that much, but it is in absolutely gorgeous shape. But once again, you know, this has the unique PEW serial number. Of course, the rest of my serial number has been taped over to protect the innocent. Um, but there you have it. That is a PEW serial number Glock 17 RTF2 in absolutely superb shape. Um, the reason, oh by the way, I don't believe this one was manufactured in 2017. I think this one was actually manufactured in um, 2009 or possibly 10 is because of this original uh, box that it's in or case along with the owner's manual and when you flip it over I did notice at the bottom so this one was likely manufactured in 2010 thanks to this date revision March of 2010 so I think this was part of that first batch that first run they did um, especially also because of let me get this back in here without destroying it Especially also because of the finish on the frame itself, it doesn't have that. It doesn't have that real slick. Um, doesn't have that real slick finish. It's got the rougher finish. Now, if I'm wrong, by all means, guys, please let me know in the comment section, um, and let me know if you guys have any cool, odd serial numbered uh, Glocks or any other weapons for that matter like this. I think it's really cool to have one with once again Pew as the serial number it's pretty pretty stinking cool I did actually have an opportunity speaking of weird serial numbers I had an opportunity to get a 
uh, I think it was an MD63 Romanian AK and it had a serial number that was 0911 it was 911 um, or 911 um, I wasn't fast enough to get it and I missed out on it I uh, wish I would have bought it because that would have been a really cool AK build um, however you know what makes these so different from most of your Glocks is that that raised textured frame and it's very very grippy I mean it's it's almost like a, almost like the feet on a, on a lizard or something I mean, it, it really grabs on I do like it um, a lot of you can go out and read the forums on Glock Talk various other places you know a lot of uh, operators actually prefer these especially with gloves they're just easier to hold on to uh, they don't get out of your hand very easily but you know it was something that I guess Glock thought was going to be a hit and it wound up not being such a hit um, hence the short production run on it uh, if you go out you can actually see some Larry Vickers ones out there um, those are really expensive this one is not this is just plain Jane from the factory but once again you know, it's got that really cool pew serial number so like I said guys if, if, if you guys have some really cool unique uh, serial number uh, firearms share with me below because I'm curious to see what you guys have it's always cool to run across really really odd stuff like this and this is probably one that I may not ever shoot it just because it's so odd um, of course you know kind of like currency odd serial numbers really kind of can make a, a weapon jump in value um, so just keep that in mind um, if you run across anything really cool and unique uh, I know Glock has a weird following um, it's different uh, opposed to most other uh, weapons followings in the gun community um, I'm not saying it's bad it's just you know it's unique in its own way um, but this is a really neat Glock I doubt I'll ever get rid of this one just because it's such an odd bird so anyway if you guys like videos like this make sure you hit uh, the like button comment and share with your friends and if you're not subscribed please consider uh, subscribing uh, helps out the channel helps out my reach on YouTube so that stuff like this doesn't get suppressed as much and as always guys thank you for watching thank you for tuning in and until next time have a great day